We start today with the topic biorefinery. But what is a biorefinery? You may be familiar with the refinery concept. Maybe the image of the Shell refinery in the city Moodijk in the Netherlands comes to mind. But do we know what happens in a refinery? What is the refining principle? We will explore what the refining principle is with the help of a video made by Planet Energies. Between the brown and viscous liquid extracted from the earth, practically unusable in that state, and the fuel feeding the engine of a car, we find the refining operation. It's a transformation operation allowing us to obtain the many finished products that the market demands. The refiner depends on four types of treatment. Separation, conversion, improvement and mixing. These treatments vary according to the quality of crude to be treated and the particularities of the markets to be supplied. The crude oil, taken to high temperature, is first introduced into a distillation column. The petroleum compounds have different boiling temperatures, which allows the different petroleum compounds, or fractions, to be taken off. The lightest from the top of the column to the heaviest from the bottom. At the top, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, butane and propane, is recovered. Then petrol, for automobiles, and naphtha. The latter is submitted to a chemical process to produce the petrochemical bases, olefins and aromatics. At the bottom, the kerosenes are recovered, aircraft fuel and domestic heating fuel, then the diesels for diesel engines and a series of heavier and heavier products. We can summarize the refining principle as a series of steps, separation, conversion, upgrade and mixing through which oil is transformed in usable and marketable products. In a biorefinery, we want to do the same using biomass instead of oil. We want to transform different biomass types to valuable intermediates or end products using an assembly of processing units. How do we go for a certain biomass input to products when defining a biorefinery? We learned in the refinery video that a refinery is a combination of steps and that each step can be performed using different techniques. For example, in the conversion step, we saw the catalytic reforming and catalytic cracking techniques. As you can imagine, designing a biorefinery for a certain purpose is like combining different Lego pieces to build a certain structure. You need to know the characteristics of the different technical processes, in this analogy, the Lego pieces, to be able to combine them in simple or complex structures. Only then you can propose a technically feasible biorefinery concept. I hope with this introduction you got curious enough to watch the content video.